Okay. So what did we talk about yesterday? Kennedy? Editorials. And what is an editorial? What did we decide that an editorial was? I mean, we about someone's opinion. And what, what did they do with their opinion in the editorial? Okay. Like put an argument in there. They put an argument for their opinion or against their opinion? For their opinion, right. They were trying to... What was it I didn't say loud? Persuade. persuade. They wanted to persuade the reader to agree with their opinion. So today we're going to just read a little editorial. And we're going to examine it and look at the author's opinion and their argument and their supporting details. I did read your supporting details from which pet is better, a dog or a cat? What do you think? Dog. Oh, a dog? You're right. I didn't get one argument that a cat was better than a dog. I was really surprised. You all had some great um, supporting details as to why a dog would be a better pet than a cat. So that was great. I was really impressed and proud that you guys understood those supporting details. Okay, so who can read us the title of this editorial? Isaac K. Don't put us on hold. Don't put us on hold. I know it's hard to see the picture from this. I'm going to try to lighten it up as much as possible. So as soon as the... Could you turn the document camera on? Yes. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it things. You can see that a little bit better. What, is, what does she have in her hand right there? Cell phone. Cell phone. How many of you have a cell phone? Rich? A lot of you have a cell phone. Okay. So how many of you take it with you everywhere you go? A lot of you do. So what, so what do you do with it everywhere you go? Someone, Dejeuner, what do you do with it? I call people, text people, play games. Play games, okay. Anyone else do something different, Samantha? I can on Facebook and Instagram. Facebook and Instagram, oh, that's a big one. Twitter. Avery? I sometimes use it um, to text my mom because most of the places that I take it is the grocery store with my dad and we don't know what kind of brand to buy. So okay, so it's a good communication device. Um, Kennedy? I only bring my phone in case there's an emergency. In case there's an emergency. Very good. That's what my, my mom gives my brother a, a like track phone where you pay the minutes that he's allowed to take with him when he goes to a birthday party or um, a basketball game that he's playing in that's far away. He, she allows him to take that with him in case there's an emergency. Abby, do you have something? Um, can yeah. Listen to music. Listen to music, yeah. There's a lot. You can put the music on there with the iPhones now, your iTunes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's read this Don't Put Us in, On Hold and see what they, the author has to say about probably about cell phones. Who wants to read first? Kennedy, go ahead and read us the first paragraph. Has this ever happened to you? Do you find out that your favorite club or team is having meetings after school? Do you want to call your parents to tell them you'll be late? You reach for your handy cell phone and, uh-oh, you don't have it because cell phones are not allowed in school. So, you miss the meeting. And you don't get elected club president, and your life is ruined. That's a little extreme, maybe, that your life is ruined, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. But that is a problem. Has anyone ever had that problem before that they wanted to say after maybe for sports or a different club or Project Isaac, and 
you didn't have a phone or or you wanted to go to a friend's house so you couldn't call so you had to go home? Yeah. Abby, do you, that's happened? Uh-huh. Yeah, so what do we think the author's opinion is so far? Just from this first paragraph, what do we think, Sierra? That they want you to have cell phones in your school. That they, that they want to have cell phones in school. That's a good one. Any other opinions you think she might have? You think she's for cell phones or against cell phones? Or cell phones. Okay, let's read on and see. Avery? Of course it never happens exactly like that. In fact, it, that it, that a lot of kids at Claremont Middle School carry their cell phones in school, even though it's against the rules to have them. If you haven't done it yourself, you've seen other kids sneaking calls between their classes. As long as you keep the phone off and in your pocket or backpack, no one knows. There are good reasons to have rules about cell phones in school. No one wants classes to be in, interrupted by ringtones, especially those really annoying ones that, that play the line from the song over and over. If a kid start text messaging to each other and so <coughs> pay attention, it would be a disaster for learning. Okay, so what did she talk about in the first paragraph that Avery read for us? John? Like, some kids bring it to school in their book bag and turn it off, Abby? There's good reason and bad reason why they have a cell phone in class. Yeah, that's the second paragraph. What does it say in the second paragraph? There are good reasons to have rules about cell phones in school. Mm -hmm. Avery. It's saying, like, yes, there needs to be a limit on these rules, but you also need, but you can carry them as long as you don't, are not texting or making calls and doing all of that kind of stuff in class because it said it was a disaster for learning. Right. So there's, what is this part of the editorial? You should not have your math app on your desk right now. You can put it underneath until we're finished. Someone else other than Avery, what is this part that we talked about in the editorial that they state? They have their opinion and then they have their what? Facts. Not facts yet. Something before the facts. What type of argument? Not persuasive. Uh, the opposing John. Opinions. Not opinions. Avery, say louder. The opposing argument. The opposing argument. She's giving you facts and details about the opposing argument. Why you wouldn't want to have cell phones in school. Because of the ringtones, um, kids text messaging while in class. I don't see any of you guys doing that. I know some of you have cell phones, and that's... That's fine. As long as I don't see them out and you're not on them when I'm teaching, then that's okay with me. We don't have to say anything if it doesn't happen. And then they stop paying attention. I see this in my college classes all the time. I look around and kids get bored and they're sitting under the desk. Texting. Texting. I don't know how it is with middle school. I'll have to ask Miss Thorne and Miss. Uh, Strong and see what they say about it if they see cell phones out. But I know in my college classes I see a lot of kids, and it is distracting just to be sitting and learning, and then I'm sure the teacher obviously can see that. It's not very... But are they allowed? Respectful. It's not respectful. No, you're not allowed. They want you to keep your cell phones away. So let's go on and keep reading. Sense of... And 